Within One Piece, there is a power balance that keeps the peace among the pirates and marines. These powers, called the Three Great Powers, consist of the Marine Headquarters, the Seven Warlords of the Sea, and the Four Empress. Firstly, the Marine Headquarters, or Kaigun Hombu, are the world government's primary force to combat pirates and criminals across the Grand Blue. The most powerful fighters among the Marines are the Fleet Admiral, Admirals, and Vice Admirals. Primarily, the Admirals are considered the most threatening forces and are typically sent out on missions against particularly dangerous pirates or on urgent requests by the world government, like a buster call. Before the time skip, the Admirals were Aokiji, Kizaru, and Akainu, with Sengoku as the Fleet Admiral. But since the time skip, Akainu became the Fleet Admiral, and Aokiji left the Marines. So the new power structure is Akainu as the Fleet Admiral, with Fujitora, Ryokugu, and Kizaru as the Admirals. Their Vice Admirals are also fairly powerful, typically not quite as powerful as an Admiral, but they pose a definite threat against mid-level pirates. The one known exception to this, however, is Vice Admiral Garp. Garp the hero is one of the most powerful marines ever known, who intentionally does not get promoted to an admiral to avoid working directly under the world government. The seven warlords of the sea, or the Shichibukai, are seven pirates who have been given pardons for all previous and future crimes in exchange for following orders from the world government. The Shichibukai primarily exist to exercise more control over some pirates by having powerful pirates control their own areas while technically being world government forces. This has, however, proved to be ineffective as many Shichibukai have abused their power to commit many crimes and cause more destruction than they could as a regular pirate. The primary examples of this are Crocodile and Doflamingo, who both use their position as a Shichibukai to control entire kingdoms from the shadows and cause the suffering of many for years. Before the time skip, the Shichibukai were Crocodile, Bartholomew Kuma, Doflamingo, Gecko Moria, Boa Hancock, Dracul Mihawk, and Jinbei. Recently in the story, however, during the Reverie, Admiral Fujitora proposed for the Shichibukai system to be removed. Because of the implementation of the Pacifista, robotic clones of the warlord Bartholomew Kuma, the world government has enough manpower to do without the Shichibukai. He was successful in abolishing them, and they no longer exist at the current point in the series. Before the system was abolished, the warlords were Dracul Mihawk, Boa Hancock, Buggy the Clown, Edward Weevil, and Bartholomew Kuma. Finally, the four emperors, or the Yonko, are the four most powerful pirates in the world. They are often named by the news and not actually by the world government themselves. They typically reside within the second half of the Grand Line, the New World, and exert most of their control there. All of the Yonko have ruled over a vast and powerful force that amplifies their control of the Grand Line, but typically they have a primary crew containing their most powerful fighters. Before the time skip, the Yonko were red-haired Shanks, Whitebeard, Big Mum, and Kaido of the Beasts. During the Summit War at Marineford, Whitebeard was killed, and in the two years following, Blackbeard replaced him as a new Yonko. After the Straw Hats invasion of Whole Cake Island, Monkey D. Luffy was named the fifth emperor alongside the existing Yonko for his actions against Big Mum. And after Kaido and Big Mum were defeated on Wano, Luffy and Buggy replaced them to meet the current Yonko red-haired Shanks, Blackbeard, Buggy the Clown, and Monkey D. Luffy. Buggy is not actually particularly strong, but he was named an emperor due to him being used as a figurehead for Cross Guild, which is managed by Crocodile and Dracula Mihawk behind the scenes. So yeah, that's the general overview of the three great powers. That's it. Bye.